Speak to the boatman. What's your step? He'll tell you. Enjoy yourselves, ladies. Bye. Armand Rulin, friend of the late Vincent van Gogh. Pleasure. I heard he liked to hang around around the river. Vincent, yeah. Yeah, he used to come down here. Even before dawn, to catch some special kind of light. Now, I don't know much about light catching, but I know you can set your eyes on a lot of life down here if you catch my drift. Good to know. Mm. He didn't talk so much. Mostly just sat around watching, sometimes painting. <laughs> but this one time, it was just us, me fishing, him painting. Now, it wasn't as peaceful as it sounds. He made all sorts of noises while he painted, puffing like a steam engine. And then suddenly, it was all silent. And he looked so happy that this dirty crow was coming close. Didn't seem to care that it ran off at his lunch. And I thought to myself, how lonely is this guy that even a thieving crow brightens up his day? Later that summer, he would hang around these rich boys who threw big boating parties. They always came with girls. Unruly ones, if you know what I mean. Then it seems shy around them. You never did have much luck with women. You'd think. And then he comes here with a gachet girl. I saw her. Pretty, in a porcelain sort of way. Yeah, that's her. A real quiet type. I've been working in this village since before the Gachets moved here and I never got to speak a word with her. <laughs> Yet her and Vincent, they were... They were chatting in that way. You know, like, speaking to each other was the most exciting thing ever. All I could see was just your foot. God knows what she saw in him. <laughs> oh. Must have been twice her age. And next to her, he looked like a tramp. Well, you think there was something going on? They said they were here to paint, but they took a boat. Couples often do. But I will tell you this. Vincent, he looked like he was all right. Then he comes here with a girl who I reckon was out of his league, and the next thing I hear, he's killed himself. Maybe you should talk to her. I'm not sure their housekeeper would let me. Mm. That one. Spends her afternoons at the church. She's some kind of warden there. She certainly wards me off. 